Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Ultra Lithium and their CEO, uh, Wego. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure. Uh, Wego has a lot of Canadian mining experience with his PhD in engineering from the University of Saskatchewan. Do you want to tell us a little something about Ultra Lithium? Well, Ultra Lithium is uh, it's a very good company. Now we uh, have a project in Canada, Northern Ontario, Georgia Lake area. Near Thunder right. Bay? Near Thunder Bay, Thunder Bay uh, jurisdiction. There is a hard rock in the uh, pigmentite uh, type of deposit. Yes. Um, high grade is good grade. One to one point five percent lithium and uh, oxidized. And uh, we're also focusing in the uh, Argentina. Just very recently, we. Uh, How many properties do you have in Argentina? Argentina, we have uh, four properties with the uh, twelve claims. Total area is 25,000 hectares. Is that underground or solars? Oh, solars and a couple of uh, hot springs. And you've, has there been drilling on the Argentinian Well, properties? one of the historical drilling. Not a wood, not a drilling yet, which is going to require, so with require the, 100%. With the standard 43101. Well, uh, we're going to do that next time. Asterisk on the historical disclosures. Can you tell us about the historical disclo uh, the drilling? Well, historical drilling basically for copper gold. The owner drilled for copper gold. Uh, they did find copper gold. Yes. Uh, but they also found the lithium. How much? Uh, but 220 ppm. But that's a free. It's a hot spring going out. We got water for free. And I understand that um, you also have magnesium and potassium there. Uh, potassium is high as well. And why is that important to you? Well, it's a byproduct. We can sell for this value. It helps your metallurgy. Uh, this is not, yeah, uh, product, product is not going to be a fact now with extraction, uh, but magnesium uh, is a problem. Uh, and you've recently raised capital for the company. Yep. What I was impressed with is your share issuance costs were so low. Yep. Looks like the company raised a lot of money on its own without the outside assistance and fees you had to pay for. Yeah, we did all, we did all in ourselves. Good job. Yep. Yep. What's next? Well, we, uh, we're on the road. Uh, we just acquired the properties and we're also looking for some really good properties. It's on the way. So we need a big raise. We're going to raise, hopefully we're going to raise $20 million or something. And that's okay. We're going to finish our acquisitions and our exploration programs. So and get whatever we can do with PEA um, feasibility studies. Yes. Our target. So we're in Toronto today. You're in Vancouver tomorrow, I believe. By the time this airs, You'll be back working on the budget and the work programs. Very soon. We're going to have uh, something come up. We'll keep well, an eye on you. It looks like a very exciting series of projects. Well, I think the stock is going to do really well. We have not done any work on the stock yet. Stock has been doing, performing themselves. But uh, we have a good, a very good base, um, valuable assets to support the stock. It looks very interesting. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.